What's happening guys? Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another Beamer Code video. I know how much you guys like those. This one in particular, a few of you requested it so I figured I might as well do a video on it. Today we are going to be coding enhanced Bluetooth in the F30 BMW. Now wait, if you don't have a comm box, you cannot do this. I don't have a comm box. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this. I'm not gonna actually do it because I don't have a comm box in my car, but I will show you a workaround using a Bluetooth adapter. You're probably yelling at your computer screen right now, John, what is a comm box? I have no idea what that is, calm down. I'm gonna show you exactly what a comm box is right now. Let's head to the back of the vehicle, back of the sexy vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and open up the trunk. You guys, in the back of this trunk, I don't have any junk, but there is something else. Lift up this little cardboard piece back here. And underneath there, you're gonna see two spaces. That's a fuse box. We don't care about that right now. Right here, this is where that comm box would be if you have one. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, well I don't have one. So I don't have the comm box. We're gonna hop into the car right now and I'll show you how to code it. All right guys, so in order to code in enhanced Bluetooth on this F30 BMW, we're gonna use the app Beamer Code. You can download it from the App Store. We are also going to use the iCar Pro VGate 2. If you guys are unfamiliar with any of this stuff, please check this video and that'll explain how to use Beamer Code to code your car. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this into our OBD2. All right, and so once you guys have that plugged in, go ahead and open up your Beamer Code app and you'll hit connect. Once the app loads, it'll look like this. All right, guys, so we are going to be jumping into the head unit category here. That's where everything that we need to code this enhanced Bluetooth is located. All right, so next we're going to be jumping into expert mode. And then we are going to be going to 3003 Telephone Telematic Online. All right, so you guys will see in here, you're going to see CDMM Bluetooth Audio. We're going to be jumping in that. Go ahead and make sure that that is active. Next, we are looking for CDMMBT database. Um, you can see it's already active. Go ahead and make sure that that is activated. Then we're gonna be jumping into audio player on off. Make sure that that too is active. Then we'll be looking for BT module on off. Make sure that is also active. And then we are looking for A2DP profile. Make sure that that is also active. All right, so for the next part of this, I'm not gonna be able to show you exactly how to do it. Why? Because I don't have a comm box in my car. So I'm gonna throw the instructions up on the screen on how you do this next part. So basically what you're gonna do is hop into the comm box menu. You're gonna go to 3004 underscore Bluetooth underscore parameter. And then under that, you're looking for A2DP underscore AVRCP underscore EIN underscore AUS. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that that is active. So then what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go back to the page you just came from, and in the top right, you'll see code. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hit that code button. Your car is going to code, it's going to restart, and then you should be good with enhanced Bluetooth in your vehicle. Now, I wish I could show you this part, guys, but I don't have a comm box, so I cannot show it to you. So I was able to find this coding at beamerpost.com. I'll put a link to the actual thread in case you need to go through it yourself. I'm simply taking this coding from someone else who did it and claimed that it worked, and I'm throwing it into this video for you guys. All right, on to the next part of this video. If you don't have a comm box and you are like me, this is what you're gonna be doing. You're going to be buying one of these. I will put a link in the description to it. Basically, it's just a little USB Bluetooth adapter. It plugs right into that USB port there, and then it has an audio cable that runs out of it, and it plugs into the audio here. What this does is it communicates with your phone and allows you to stream music from the phone to the car. Go ahead and plug the USB adapter in like that. Take your audio cable, plug it in like that. And then you're gonna see the screen pop up again over here. I'm gonna show you the phone and show you how we connect it. If you just hop into your Bluetooth settings, if you look at mine, it's already connected. It's PT810. Not sure what yours will be labeled. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. You are an intelligent human being just like me. So go ahead and hit connect on that PT810 and then you are good. You can now stream music from your phone to the car without having enhanced Bluetooth enabled. Hopefully that worked for you. I can't really tell you because I don't have a comm box, but if it did work for you, comment down below because I would love to hear your success story. As usual guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe if you enjoy this content. Comment down below, like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.